hello one two three four five sound testing so agar aap log sun pa rahe hain to bilkul aap confirm kar sakte hain is cheez ko and kar sakte hain is cheez ko hopefully log mujhe sun pa rahe hain to today we are going to talk about database and let's talk about read a book and then we will uh, like uh, talk about database in detail chapter by chapter we will talk about uh, database hopefully we'll talk about database hopefully and uh, thanks so much for coming here so first of all try to understand what database is and दिस बिफोर द एडवेंट ऑफ डेटा बेस यानी डेटा बेस से पहले जो डेटा स्टोर होती थी वो फाइल बेस सिस्टम में स्टोर होती थी एंड फाइल बेस सिस्टम क्या होती थी फाइल बेस सिस्टम वन ऑफ द वे टू कीप इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन कंप्यूटर टू स्टोर इट इन अमानेंट फाइल सो परमानेंट फाइल में हम इसको स्टोर करते थे लाइक डॉट टी एक्स टी फाइल हो गया या फिर डॉट एक्सएल एक्स फाइल हो गया या माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड में हमने कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन स्टोर कर ली तो ये डिफरेंट वे जिसमें हम डेटा स्टोर करते थे एंड अ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम हैज अ नंबर ऑफ एप्लीकेशन प्रोग्राम एंड ईच ऑफ देम इज डिजाइन टू मैनुपलेट डेटा फाइल्स दीज एप्लीकेशन प्रोग्राम है at a request of the user in the organization new applications are added to the system as the need arises the system just described is called the file based system consider a traditional banking system that use the file based system to manage the organization data shown in figure 1.1 as we as we can see uh, there are different department in the bank and each has its own application that manages and manipulate different data files for banking systems the program programs may be used to debit or credit credit an account find find the balance of the account and add a new mortgage loan generate monthly statement so bank mein hota kya hai bank mein ek customer ya to paise jama karega ya paise nikalega jab paise nikalega to amount jo hai debit hona chahiye yani amount ghatna chahiye jab paise dalega to amount credit hona chahiye you can understand from a simple example jab hum log koi bhi job karte hain to monthly jo month ke end pe hamari salaries hoti hai wo credit hoti hai and jaise jaise hum kharche karte hain to hamari monthly kharche जितने पैसे हम खर्चे करते रहते हैं उस तरह से पैसे डेबिट होते रहते हैं तो अगर मैंने सौ रुपये खर्च की मंथ के स्टार्टिंग में अगर मेरे पास हजार रुपये है तो सौ रुपये खर्च करने के बाद नाइन हंड्रेड रुपये मेरे बचने चाहिए और वो हंड्रेड रुपये मैंने जिसको दिए हैं उसके अकाउंट में वो क्रेडिट हो जाना चाहिए दिस इज ऑल द बैंकिंग सिस्टम अब इसको फाइल बेस सिस्टम में स्टोर करना काफी डिफिकल्ट है डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ फाइल बेस्ड अप्रोच यूज द फाइल बेस्ड सिस्टम टू कीप द ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल इंफॉर्मेशन हैज अ नंबर ऑफ डिसएडवांटेज लिस्ट बिलो आर द फाइव एग्जांपल डेटा रिडंडेंसी ऑफन विद एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फाइल एंड एप्लीकेशन आर क्रिएटेड बाय डिफरेंट प्रोग्रामर फ्रॉम from various department over a long period of time this can lead to data redundancy a situation that occur in database when a field needs to be updated in more than one table this practice can lead to several problem as such as so data redundancy ke bare mein baat karenge it's a very important concept in data whole data world jahan pe hamare paas same information ka source multiple ho एंड रिलेशनल डेटा बेस सिस्टम में अगर इसको आप समझेंगे तो एक ही इंफॉर्मेशन एक टेबल की जगह दो दो और दो दो से ज्यादा टेबल में अगर हमारे पास है तो वो हम कहते हैं डेटा रिडंडेंसी उसे 
अब इसके डिसएडवांटेज क्या होते हैं इन कन इनकन्सिस्टेंसी इन डेटा फॉर्मेट हो सकता है कि डेटा फॉर्मेट अलग अलग हो दो टेबल में द सेम इंफॉर्मेशन बींग केप्ड इन सेफरल डिफरेंट प्लेसेज लाइक फाइल्स डेटा इनकन्सिस्टेंसी और सिचुएशन वेयर वेरियस कॉपीज ऑफ सेम डेटाज आर कंफ्लिक्टिंग वेस्ट ऑफ स्टोरेज स्पेस एंड डुप्लीकेट एफर्ट अब इसमें क्या होता है कि सेम डेटा हमारे पास मल्टीपल जगह पर है तो ऐसे सिचुएशन भी आ सकते हैं कि हमने डेटा एक जगह अपडेट किया और दूसरे जगह भूल गए इन दैट केस अ कंफ्लिक्टिंग सिचुएशन अराइजेस मींस कौन सा डेटा सही है और कौन सा गलत है इस चीज को बहुत ही ज्यादा ये प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट करता है नाउ द अदर थिंग इज लाइक डेटा आइसोलेशन डेटा आइसोलेशन इज अ प्रॉपर्टी दैट डिटरमाइन व्हेन एंड हाउ चेंजेस मेड बाय वन ऑपरेशन बिकम विजिबल टू द other concurrent user and the system this occur in concurrency situation this is a problem because it is difficult for new application to retrieve the appropriate data which might be stored in various file integrity problem problem with data integrity is another disadvantage using a file based system it refers to the maintenance and assurance that the data in in the database are correct and consistent factor considering when addressing the issues are data value must satisfy certain consistency constraint are specified in a application program and it is difficult to make change to application program in order to enforce the new constraint security problem security can be a problem with a file based approach because there are constraint regarding the accessing privilege application require requirements are added to the system in an ad hoc manner so that different difficult to enforce constraint concurrency access concurrency access concurrency is the ability of database to allow multiple user access the same record without adversely affecting the transaction processing a file system must manage or prevent concurrency by application program typically a file system typically in a file system when application open a file the file is locked this means no one is has access to the file at the same time in database system concurrency is managed thus allow multiple user access to the same record this is an important difference between database and file based system database approach the difficulties that arise from using a file system have prompted the development of new approach in managing large amount of organizational information called database approach database database technology play an important role in most areas where computer are used including business education medicine to understand the fundamentals of database we will start introducing some of the basic concept in this area role of database in business every Already use a database in some way, even if it is just to store information about their friends and family. That data might be written down or stored in a computer by using word processing programs, or it could be saved in a spreadsheet. However, the best way to store data is by using data management software. This is a powerful software tool that allow you to store, manipulate and retrieve data in a variety of different way. Most companies 
keep track of customer information by storing it in a database. The, this data may include customer, employee, products, order, or anything else that assists the business way its operation. The meaning of data. Let me stop here, take a five minute break, and then I will come back. Okay, or let me continue because there are the meaning of data. Data are factual information such as a measurement or statistics about object and concept. So data are factual information such as measurement or statics, statics about the object and the concept. We use data for discussion or as a part of calculation data can be a person place an event an action or any one of a number or a thing a single fact is a element of data or data element a single fact is a element of data or data element if data are information and information is what we are in business for working with you can start to see where you might be storing it data can be stored in filing filing cabinet spreadsheet folder laser list file of paper on desk all these items store information and so to documents in database because of the mechanical nature of database they have traffic traffic power to manage and process the information they hold because of the mechanical nature of database they have traffic power to manage and process information they hold this can make the information they house house much more useful for your work with the understanding of data we can start to see how a tool with the capacity to store a collection of data and organize it, conduct a rapid search, retrieve and process might make difference to how we use data. This book and a chapter that follows all managing information. Okay, thank you. I'm ending my live stream. Hope you guys like it. Bye.